The NBA draft lottery has came and went, and the basketball guys rewarded the New Orleans Pelicans with the number one pick, making things real interesting with all the drama surrounding their current franchise player, Anthony Davis. NBA free agency is already expected to be a game changer, but before that, we could be served with an amazing appetizer with this upcoming NBA draft. There could be a lot of wheeling and dealing before we even get to free agency. Most scouts look at this as a three-player draft with Zion, RJ, and Morant. And the draft really won't start until the fourth pick. But there are always prospects flying under the radar that are not looked at as elite prospects, but could very well end up being one of the best players in the draft. There are a lot of stars that were drafted outside the top five, like Kawhi, Clay, Giannis, Steph, CJ, and Dane, who are still currently playing on the biggest stage. It's not rocket science for a team that wins the draft lottery to pick the best player, but to identify a hidden gem outside the top five is where the lead scouts and evaluators really earn their money. In this video, I'm going to present you with my third and final mock draft of the 2019 NBA draft class. The Pelicans had only a 6% chance to win the NBA draft lottery. After the league changed the lottery system to flatten the odds, most people knew we could be in for a shocking night. After months of trade speculation of their superstar Anthony Davis, the question wasn't if they would trade him, but when. The future looked bleak for the organization, and the best outcome for the Pelicans is to acquire the most draft picks and young players you can get from an Anthony Davis trade. That still should be the goal, but with the results of the NBA draft lottery, it seems all the concerns and worries about the future went right out the window because there's an 18 year old phenom that could make the Pelicans one of the most interesting teams in the league for years to come. With the number one pick in the 2019 NBA draft, the New Orleans Pelicans select Zion Williamson from Duke University. This guy has the game and charisma to lift a franchise and put them back on the map. Zion came into the college basketball season with a lot of question marks and wasn't looked at by most scouts as a top three pick. But Zion showed the world what kind of impact he can have on the team. He took the college basketball world by storm with his brute force and world-class athleticism. Coach K calls Zion the most unique athlete he's ever coached. The 6'7", 285-pound forward averaged around 22 points and 9 rebounds as he was named the National Player of the Year. And he only showed you a glimpse of what he's capable of. He's not a natural scorer, but has the tools and size to score easy buckets early in his career as he develops his offensive game. He has amazing quickness and fluidity for a man his size, and occasionally he shows he can create off the dribble. He has a natural feel for the game and has the ability to facilitate the offense and dish to open teammates. He can be so special on the defensive end. Zion has the foot speed and mobility to deny penetration from the best guards and can be a devastating rim protector in the paint. Defense may be his greatest asset. Eventually, he may have to lose a couple of pounds on the next level to help put him in the best position to stay healthy throughout his NBA career. The Grizzlies are coming off their second straight year of missing the playoffs and will have a new head coach and general manager going forward. The organization have been dragging their feet on the idea of having a full rebuild over the last couple of years, but this offseason should be the year they finally pull the trigger. After trading away their beloved center Marcus All, only Mike Conley remains from the grit and grind era. After the Grizzlies got lucky and landed the second overall pick, there's a franchise changing point guard that will lead the Grizzlies into a new and exciting era. With the second pick in the draft, the Memphis Grizzlies select Ja Moran from Murray State University. While the Grizzlies will more than likely be saying goodbye to their current point guard Mike Conley, they will be replacing him with an explosive and unselfish floor general that hardly anybody knew about just two years ago. Only Zion had a better highlight reel package during this past college basketball season. Some scouts even believe that Moran's game will translate better on the next level than Zion. Moran is a total package. He's quick, can play above the rim, facilitate, and can score the rock when he needs to. He led Murray State to the second round of the NCAA tournament as he finished with averages of 23 points, 10 assists, and 5 rebounds a game. 
Morant will help bring in a new era of Grizzlies basketball. After around a decade long of stability and success with players like Zach Randolph, Marc Gasol, Tony Allen, and Mike Conley, the Grizzlies are finally ready to move on with last year's first round pick, Jaron Jackson Jr., Jonas Valanciunas, and a kid from Murray State, Ja Morant. Coming into this season, most fans knew it would be an uphill climb for the New York Knicks to make progress and fight for the playoffs. With Porzingis recovering from an ACL injury, the Knicks went into the season with one main goal, develop the young guys. With that comes a lot of growing pains and a ton of losses, and that's exactly what happened. There's optimism with young players like Mitchell Robinson, Alonzo Trier, and Kevin Knox, but not so much for a player like Frank Nilakina, who the Knicks very well could move on from this offseason. The Knicks decided to trade their all-star big man Porzingis with speculation of him being unhappy with the team and the Knicks were dealt another blow when the Pelicans won the draft lottery and their pick landed at number three. Even though they won't get Zion, they're in prime position to draft an elite prospect or use this pick to trade for a superstar like Anthony Davis. With the third pick in the draft, the New York Knicks select R.J. Barrett from Duke University. This guy came into the college basketball season as the consensus number one prospect in the draft. That doesn't necessarily mean he's been a disappointment by being pick number three. It's just that there were two other prospects that played beyond expectations. Barrett plays with toughness and grit and has an alpha dog mentality. He led the ACC in scoring at around 23 points per game and set an ACC freshman scoring record. Barrett showed the ability to create shots for himself all over the court, even if at times he didn't take the best shots. He needs to work on his efficiency and ball handling but his size and strength make him a tough cover in the paint and has excellent footwork that allows him to get past his defenders. Some say that R.J. Barrett would be the best player in this draft. The New York Knicks may not get the Duke player they wanted, but they might get the Duke player they need. The luck of the bouncing ping pong balls gave the Lakers a surprising jump in the draft lottery to the number four spot. This is the best news for the Lakers since around Christmas when they were playing their best basketball of the season before LeBron got hurt. Even though the Lakers didn't make the playoffs, they are still the topic of discussions, but for the wrong reasons. The dysfunction and ownership in that front office leads many to believe that the Lakers won't be able to recover from it and will not attract the marquee free agents they want this summer. But getting the fourth pick gives the team great options moving forward. Do they package this pick and use it to get an all-star or use it to draft an impact player from day one? With the fourth pick in the draft, the Los Angeles Lakers select DeAndre Hunter from the University of Virginia. Defense and shooting are a priority for the Lakers, and DeAndre can give you both. The ACC Defensive Player of the Year shot over 40% from three in his sophomore year. He showed what kind of defensive player he could be in the national championship game against Jared Culver. Standing around 6'8 with a 7'2 wingspan, DeAndre is ready to be a difference maker on that end right away. He is not an elite offensive player, but playing with a great player like LeBron will give him good scoring opportunities early in his career. What he lacks in offensive creativity, he makes up for with his elite defense. And for a Lakers team that wants to win now, DeAndre is one of the most NBA ready prospects in the draft. The basketball guys wasn't too nice to the Cleveland Cavaliers as they slipped to the fifth position and will lose out on the top three prospects in the draft. After losing LeBron James in the offseason, we already knew the Cavaliers were going to take a big step back this season, and the injury to Kevin Love didn't help either. The team made a solid move hiring former Michigan head coach John Beeline as the new head coach of the team. Player development is key for a young team, and the Cavaliers might have the right coach in place for the franchise. There's a chance that the Cavaliers could take a big risk on a player that is unproven but has a high upside or they could play it safe and take a solid prospect. With the fifth pick in the draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select Jared Culver from Texas Tech University. He might not have the high upside like R.J. Barrett, but he can be just as effective. Culver exploded onto the national scene in his sophomore season, as he led the Red Raiders to a program best 31 wins and a spot in the national championship game. Culver isn't necessarily elite at any facet of the game, but he is solid at every facet of the game. The jack of all trades. He's a two-way player who got better in every way from his freshman to sophomore season. 
Texas Tech led the country in defensive efficiency, and Culver was a big reason why. He has good size and length for a two guard and has the work ethic to be the best player he can be.